Buried 100 feet under the city of Decora, there is an ancient impact crater formed approximately 465 million years ago when a football stadium sized meteor collided with the Earth's surface in central Winnishie County. The Decora impact crater is one of fewer than 200 recognized impact structures on the entire planet. In 2010, the fossilized remains of a nearly 6 foot sea scorpion, Pentacopterus decorahensis, were discovered within the now buried crater basin. Approximately 465 million years ago during the Ordovician period, an impact event occurred in what is now Decorah, Iowa. The result was a crater with a diameter of 3.5 miles, 5.6 kilometers. Soon after the crater was created through the impact of the meteor, it filled with ancient sediment and was buried under even more sediment. Millions of years later, the upper Iowa River eroded some of the sediment away and created the bluffs and hillsides that are now surrounding the Decorah area. The Decorah Impact Crater Discovery provides scientists with a new opportunity to learn about the impact events and crater processes. The crater basin also created a unique environment in which an exceptional fossil record was preserved, offering insights into the life on Earth during a critical period in the evolution of complex life. The Decorah Crater might still be undiscovered if it weren't for the curiosity and persistence of local resident Jean Young and for her work for the Iowa Geologic Survey. Hello, my name is Brigitte Mead, and I'm here to help you understand how we know that there's a crater underneath Decora and um, how it was made. So to do that, I made this model out of just some cardboard and some paint, and I hope that will help you understand. The first thing you need to know in order to understand any of this is that Earth is really, 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 really old. So there's been lots of time for changes to happen and for erosion to um, change our landscape. So this model here represents the Decorah area. Pretty much what you see here, this circle being the crater rim, and uh, this being Luther, Freeport, Highway 9, and the highlands north of Decorah. We're going to come back to this in a little bit. So we have to go back in time um, about 465 million years. And uh, it's important to know that Iowa was part of a supercontinent at that time that was near the equator. And um, so things were different, uh, weather patterns and whatnot. But we were underneath a shallow ocean. So I want you to imagine that there's water over layers of rock rock that formed in the bottom of the ocean, essentially seashells that have been made into rock. So that's what these layers represent. So about 465 million years ago, Decorah had a really, 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 really bad day because a giant space rock about the size of the Decorah football stadium came from space <laughs> and it crashed through the ocean to the ocean floor and it blasted out a huge hole. So tsunamis and all this rock being blasted out. Now you might ask, is that meteor still at the bottom of the hole? Well, from what we know, almost all meteors completely vaporize on impact. So that meteor is probably gone. But right away, that hole filled in. Remember, it's a shallow ocean here. So all that rock that got blasted out, it filled in. And this is many colors because it's all the shale, limestone, and sandstone that got blasted out. Then something interesting happened, which we don't fully understand as scientists yet, and that's why we need more people to become paleontologists. There was a layer of shale that formed here. And it's a very special shale, so far found nowhere else on the planet. Um, and it has the name Winnishik Shale. And um, if you know the shales around here, they're, they're kind of uh, light gray colored. And you can see that this is an actual sample of it. And um, it's, a, it's a much darker, blacker shale. Then something happened that we don't fully understand. All of that shale in the surrounding area was eroded away by some erosional force. 
But right here where the crater was, there must have been a little bit of a rim and the shale stayed in this place. So the fact that we have an impact crater under Decor is extraordinary scientific news, but wait, there's more. In that shale, there have been some creatures discovered so far that have been found nowhere else on the planet, including an enormous sea scorpion, six feet long, almost six feet long, named after this area, Pentacopterus decoraensis, and you can see a model of it at Luther College, and also a number of other sea creatures that have been found nowhere else on the planet. Pentacopterus decorensis is so special because it's, it's quite a bit older than any other sea scorpion found anywhere so far. That's why we need more paleontologists. So um, this happened. These creatures got fossilized, but a whole lot more time passed. Millions, millions, and millions of years. 465 million years, in fact, of rock forming on top of that rock. <sighs> Over time, erosional forces, be it wind, water, glaciers, most of this rock was eroded away. So all the tertiary and quaternary material is gone. The Cretaceous material. If you love dinosaurs, uh, dinosaurs did roam here, but all of their fossils were eroded away. The Triassic and the Jurassic material all ground into dust and eroded away. Many interesting creatures went extinct, especially at the time of the Permian extinction. This rock layer here I made black because it's from the Mississippi and Pennsylvania when a whole lot of coal and oil was formed. And we don't have coal and oil here in Winnesheet County because we know that those layers were all eroded away. Also the Silurian and the Devonian rocks, which you can find just west of here, they're gone. I'm going to come back to this in a moment, but remember that circle I showed you earlier. So now we're down to a time about one million years ago when our upper Iowa River, flowing from the west to the east, started to cut down through the shale, the limestone, and the sandstone. And it cut down steadily every year, a little bit more, flowing like this, creating the bluffs that we have around here. And now we come to current times. Here's the river flowing from the west to the east. Freeport is right about here. Luther College is right about here. Downtown Decorah is right about here. Here's Palisades Bluff. Here's the bluff of Phelps Park. Here's the valley that goes back towards the, uh, the fish hatchery. So a lot of times when people are standing right here uh, at Luther or right here downtown, they look up and they say, oh, I can feel the crater because the landscape goes up in each direction. But in reality, the crater is much deeper. You can't see the crater. That deepness that you feel in, in Decorah is because of erosional forces from the river and not from the crater itself. The rim of the crater right here um, goes right through Luther College. Interestingly enough, the Union building is inside the crater rim and the football field is outside the crater rim. So this represents the projected crater rim, um, about three miles across. Um, and there, the story of how we came to understand that there's an impact crater here is, is really a story of how science works. Um, but the first step 
came when an amateur um, geologist, a very accomplished amateur geologist, Gene Young, um, was studying the wells in the area to help people predict where it would be the good place to uh, dig the next well. And she, um, she noticed an anomaly of a black shale in some wells. And these red triangles here represent wells that had this strange black shale, this black shale in them. And these triangles represent wells that didn't have um, the shale in them. And um, it took years of painstaking work to, to start to see this pattern. And finally she told her friends at the geological survey, I don't know, I kind of think it makes a circle. Isn't that strange? And then um, they started to look and they were able to, uh, one year when the river was very low, here near Freeport, um, they found a the very, very tip top uh, surface of the, of the um, shale. And uh, a couple of years later, they were able to bring in a little backhoe and dig out um, into the river and found a lot more of that black shale than the the fossil discoveries were made and then a number of other kinds of scientific processes were used to eventually prove to the scientific community that we do indeed have one of only a few hundred um, verified impact craters on Earth um, and it's right underneath Decora, but you can't see it. It's, it's deep under us. There's a lot more to learn about the Decora impact crater. Uh, many more fossils to be found within this shale and uh, hopefully we'll have some new scientists before too long that are doing that kind of investigation. Thanks for listening.